it is our duty to recognize and admire those through whom this program went to this level and I believe and we all believe this was a great success. Respected Malana Sayyid Ali and respected guest speaker Mubashir Sadiqi and young sister I believe her name was Masuma and uh, the brother who have delivered the beautiful uh, Qasida on the sheet, uh, Mohsen Hadi and who else uh, and uh, Malana Jawad who have delivered the a beautiful recitation of the book of Quran. Believe me, in the hardship and in the hostile environment, that if we get these kinds of programs, where we are getting together, where we are talking about the revolution that you have heard uh, quite a few things about it already. I'm not going to go into that detail. All I'm going to say, Hujjat al-Islam, Mawana Sayyid Ali pointed out something, and I'd like to just say a minute or two about that. And with his permission, he used the word ideology. I would like to just talk about it for a minute or two. No matter who we are, where we live, and how we live, okay, a person without an ideology cannot be a successful, or cannot be recognized, or cannot achieve anything in his or her life without an ideology. We Alhamdulillah. Being a Muslim, the ideology is an integral part of our belief. And without this, we cannot call us a Muslim, a Muslim who has a control over his own soul and body. And when we talk about control, we are not just talking about a control of our family or a control of a little institution or maybe a segment of society or community. As he said, the Mawlana said, the Islam has come for the universal realities and the universal control. And for which we like to say, very clearly, any ism, any thought process which comes in the minds of the person, it can be man-made or it can be coming from anti-Islamic forces, but the Islamic message is a peace with justice. If you are looking at peace, in the name of peace, that you are put a person's soul and body in the cage or in a controlled society and you call them is a peaceful society, no, because there is no justice to it. And so-called democracies of the world and one of them that we are living in, that they are I don't know how well you know about their justification. They are controlling the minds and the soul of the people and the countries. And they are champion of that. In the end, I would say, Brother Masood Masumi, he is a relentless and very sincere person, a brother in our community. And believe me, it shocks me 
that among all these people, that they knew that 11th of February was coming, the revolution anniversary was coming. But we admire him that he never forgets to hold a program like this and he gets everybody together. And let's recite a loud salawat for him. Under his leadership, under his participation, the frugality, austerity, and sincerity that he carries, very few people I have seen in my life. Okay? The one incident, and only one incident. Now, uh, it was not an incident, it was a, an interview was carried out during the life of Imam Khomeini Rahmatullah. And you know that, I'm just repeating that. There was a media and lots of people were surrounding him and one of the uh, Muslim brother, most likely, he asked him a question in front of the live cameras and the media. And he wanted to make every possible thing for him to come up with this difficult question. So then a Muslim leader can be defeated. And guess what he asked? He said, oh Imam, you are the leader of Shia Muslims only. Just think about these words. And they follow you as their leaders. How about those Sunni brothers and word? that they have objection about some disputes among Shias and Sunnis. But my question to you is, what do you think about some companions of Prophet that Shia do not regard them as they should? What is your opinion about those companions of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? And that was a question, difficult question, it was put up right in front of the media with Imam Khomeini. And guess what answer he gave? He said, he smiled, and he said, my answer to you, O oh brother, that I have the same opinion and same belief about those companions that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had for them. <coughs> And what that resolved, once for all, all the doubts among the Shias and Sunnis. And he was, and he is, his message, he lives among our heart. He is, and his message will be. He is looking for unity. And for that unity's sake, we take a pride in our community. Any achievement, any excellence, any effort in the name of Muslim community, I would like to, before I end, if a brother, uh, I think he's not here, Brother Sunni Maftar, but okay, if he's not here, it's fine. But I have a sister, Zehra Qadri. If she's sitting here among us, uh, who's going to run for 50th Lord Alderman election, I would like her to stand, please, and, 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 and just look at her. She's a Muslim sister. She is going to find a political achievement. The society that we live in, where we cannot escape from it. We are looking for our rights, being a citizen or being an immigrant. She is going to strive and she's going to look for our rights if she is elected. Let's have a big applause with the Sarawak. Something happened just a little while ago in front of the, uh, across the street in the parking lot. If anyone